for all of the home runs hit by Mike Piazza, more than 401, still clearly resonates. It's an at-bat that took less than 90 seconds, but has seemed to last across two decades. For a team, more for a city. It's a single swing, best measured not in distance, but across time, not in feet traveled, but in years counted. We never really thought at the time it would take on that significance. The home run will always be with me. 10 days after the attacks on September 11th, baseball returned to New York. The Mets hosting their rival, the Atlanta Braves, where emotions were deep and raw. I felt what everyone felt, and that was fear, fear of the unknown. Anytime you heard a plane going overhead, you got a little bit nervous. I just remember praying, Lord, please help me get through this night. More than 41,000, many first responders and their families came to Shea Stadium for what would be more than a baseball game. My dad always told me as an ex-Marine, he said, the first time you hear a 21-gun salute, in person, you'll never forget it for the rest of your life. And I don't, I don't, I don't forget it. That outpouring of emotion really kind of took over and it didn't matter who was gonna win that night. You understood the magnitude that shaking hands with the competitors and understanding that we were a bigger part in that game, in that day, um, we were cool with whatever happened. Embracing the Braves before the game, walking across and giving Bobby Cox a hug. My gosh, I don't think I could have read that script and acted it out. In the bottom of the eighth, trailing by a run with a runner on, Mike Piazza came to the plate. And here's the man the Mets want up in this spot, down a run late in the game. Couldn't stage it any better. As I talk about it now, you get my hair stands up on my arms. Every once in a while, you have a premonition. So I stick my glove up over my face, and I look to my left at Andrew, and I go, Tss. and I went, like that. I was like, I just had a premonition that he was going to hit a homer. I was just blessed that I got a pitch to hit, and I didn't miss it. And it's a deep to left center. This one has a chance. When he hit that ball, I was like, no way did that just happen. Home run! Mike Piazza and the Mets lead 3-2. to two. It was just absolutely fate, no question about it. The change of mood and emotion in the stadium of everyone, including, by the way, the other dugout, there was a, just that relief. I almost sat there going, that's the way it was supposed to be. I don't think Hollywood could have wrote a script better than that. For a team, more for a city. A single swing that still lands across time. 20 years later. The superstar player hitting a home run to put the team up ahead. A city that was knocked down but not knocked out. We put a, a little Band-Aid on a big wound. I think it started the healing process. People walked out of there and kind of hugged each other and said, we're gonna be all right, we're gonna be okay. I was very, very blessed to have that moment and come through in that moment and have people continue to relate to it. It's an honor. I've said it before, I'll say it again. For me, the single most important home run I've ever witnessed as a baseball fan. 
Alex, I couldn't help but see your smile and shaking your head, the glint in your eye. What do you think as you see that replay? You know, Tom, I, I'm a New Yorker. Uh, I was raised a Mets fan. And, and in my lifetime, there's been two of the biggest home runs I've ever seen. Kirk Gibson, 88 World Series, with the Vince Scully call, of course. But then Mike Piazza. I remember watching that as a fan, not as a player. And I jumped out of my seat. And I, oh my, I said, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe what I just saw. And that day, that moment, it gave New Yorkers a reminder that New Yorkers do not give up. America does not give up. And for that moment right there, Poppy, we had hope again. I totally agree with you. As a human, we have been blessed with so many things. But I think sport helped with the healing process. I saw it that night. I saw it in 2013 up in Boston. I saw it in 2017 after the hurricane hit up in Houston. And I'm going to continue seeing it. Look at tonight. How brilliant, how beautiful this place looked like after we struggled with the 9-11 thing. Sport helped with the healing process without a doubt. And that's the beauty of baseball. It's an every night sport almost throughout the summer. People follow their teams. It's like a soap opera. You get wrapped into it. It's up and down the emotions of the teams, the players, and that's why we love this great sport. We see how it unites and how it carries us back. It transports us.